uranium plant ahead is one of the most critical sites in this island. Stay alert. Hey guys, and welcome back to this utter train wreck of a game. Now, we were going to the uh, uranium mine? Yes, yes, that thing. Okay, cool. Now, let's have a little squiz for collectibles, because why not, I suppose. I don't even know. Like, is there any point in the collectibles? Do they do anything? Ah, more mysteries. You alright there, buddies? Just hanging around? I mean, at least they've... Oh, God. I was going to say, at least they tried to put some interesting scenery in, but uh, never mind. Maybe not. Ooh. Sake. Definitely have some of the old rice wine. I used to love the rice wine. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Open the door and die. Oof. Right, let's try and uh, get that flamethrower. That flamethrower guy seems to be in a bit of a dicky position. Oh, let's have a look. Now we've actually collected that collectible. Let's see if it stays collected. Let's have a little look, shall we? Yep, I guess it does. Then we have an Ouroborealis. Hmm, okay. Fair play. I mean, that's something, I guess. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's light these guys up. <clears throat> Ooh. The lower their shields when making an attack. That's our chance. Who's got shields? What are we talking about? Why do they have shields? Are we talking about these guys? Well, okay. That grenade seems to explode as soon as he hit the target fine, I guess. No, nah, we might as well stick with the katana. Like I say, all the melee weapons pretty much seem the same. But then, as I said before, like all the guns seem the same as well, so... Might as well stick with what we know. Oh, we got a grenade launcher on this one, though. Uh, we have soldier boys with shields. Okay, I guess they're weak to grenades. Good to know. Oh, hey, friend. <clears throat> Any goodies? Well, we don't have goodies, but we've got some nades. So. Okay. Well, we don't get any extra grenades, but that's fine. We actually have a grenade launcher. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Cool. I don't think we've had a grenade launcher before. I mean, we've got the scar, but we've never had it with a... Nade launcher attached. Ooh. Okay. That was weird. I thought we was falling through the floor then, but we weren't. We were just taking cover. Let's keep going, Daddios. Any more hooch? Nope. No booze. A little sledgehammer there. You know, I have been thinking. Oh, hello. Dude, oi, ah, 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 bad, 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 there you go, touching me with your damn uh, blades, there we go, yeah, I've been thinking about trying an Indigator Black again, just because I'm kind of enjoying the theory behind this game, but I'm not enjoying the game, so... Maybe a competent game like this. But Ninja Gaiden Black, I mean, that that's a hard game. That was like Dark Souls before Dark Souls, man. I only completed it once. Actually. Right, so what have we got? We've got guys up high. You're gone. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, there's a few of them. Gonna say if we can hit those barrels, we will. Not bad, man. Not mad. Oh, hello. Nope, that's one of our guys. Wait, is he just like standing there, even though there's enemies over there to shoot? Ah, uh, par for the course. <laughs> right. Oof. Yeah. So, I was reading some reviews uh, of this game, which was thoroughly entertaining 
Um, the, the reviews actually, I think, gave this game a harder time than I have. Um, <laughs> but a lot of them seem to say the same thing about that um, Ibuku gauge or whatever it's called. It seems to be nobody seems to know what it actually does. Because it doesn't seem to make you more powerful. It doesn't seem to make you tougher. It doesn't seem to do anything apart from the fact it makes you glow. But, uh, hey. I'm sure it does something. Oh, yes! I know what it does. It tanks the frame rate. And we're already on uh, the bottom of the barrel. Okay. I think one of the funniest quotes that I saw um, when reading review was something like, you've tried the best, now try the worst. And then I there was another one that said, don't get too far ahead, what are you guys doing? And then there was another review saying, um, you know, this is what bottom of the barrel gaming looks like. The worst of the worst. And it's hard to argue. Very hard to argue. I still think if this game actually ran better, uh, it would certainly be, you know, more enjoyable at the very least. Okay. Feels like I'm playing like an early access, green lit PC game with a potato PC. By like the way, it's still telling me to crouch down, even though like I'm pretty much. Why are we? St we're really stuck in this mode. Okay, we're stuck in really more bats. So you get stuck in first-person mode when you're crouching. But right, okay. A target. Thank you for that game. Thank you for letting me know that that guy's a target. I was confused. Ah, oh, my god. Alright, so, I like the P90. In fact, the P90 is probably, well, let's say it's probably better than the rocket launcher, but it doesn't really matter what weapon you have. They all do the same thing, except this one's got a grenade launcher. Well, we have more ammo. I know we're going to get attacked. I can literally feel it. But, oh. Okay, our guys have just spawned in the room. Cool. This is reminding me of um, Another furnace? Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Uh, yeah, go on. We'll go for that. Uh, the original on the PlayStation 2. Uh, PlayStation 1, rather. Which wasn't actually the original. Just after you defeat Sniper Wolf. And, um. You go through the furnace section. I mean, that was way better than this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that this is as good as Metal Gear Solid. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. I mean. This sniper rifle literally feels like a BB gun. Come on. Can we hit him? Can we actually... Yeah, we can hit these guys. We can just cheese it, I guess. Why not? You know, I keep waiting for like some kind of redeeming factor to come through this game. Like, I don't know, something cool happens. But... I, you know, I don't think we're going to have it. I don't think we're going to get anything cool. So we can go down here or we can go across. We've got big buckets of uh, molten metal. Piss off. Being transported around. Where is that? God. Can we... Okay, so we can't actually zoom in and out with a sniper rifle. We only have like one level yeah we have one level of uh, zoom 
Okay, I mean to be honest, I'm I'm impressed we've got that. So, you know. Right, uh where are we going? Are we going up or we're we going down? I have no idea. I mean there's a gentleman shooting the shit out of that bit of wall. Which, you know, I mean that's his right to do so. He really oh look at that. We we can't even get close to the door. There's like a massive Huge invisible wall. <laughs> well, okay, so I mean, I guess that's answered our question. Uh, we're out of sniper ammo, so. Okay. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's see that head of yours. There we go. And we're dead. Because, of course, we are. The Chimera Toll is several times more powerful. Oh, Troll is several times more powerful than a normal Chimera. Uh, which is the Troll? Is Oh, dear. Whoops. I guess the Troll is the cartoony bat thing. It's got, like, the face of a bat. I don't know. There we go. Oh, that works. More or less, anyway. Okay, that doesn't quite work. Let's see if we can just clip his head. Or his arm. Why is my aim moving slightly? Almost like the controller has drift, but it doesn't. There we go. Oh, I see. Sometimes when you move it, there's like a slight wobble. I guess that's a feature. Alright. Let's go. And of course, we've got some more grunts above us. Alright. Oh, God. Getting that on target then was a challenge. Any more for it? Oh, nice. I like it when they glitch through the floor. hell is that? Okay. Yeah, we've got to stop asking questions in this game. Oh, hello. You guys totally don't blend into the environment at all there, do you? You really, like, stick out of the lighting. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, man. Aiming in this game is so difficult. Yeah, um... The actual lead developer of this game as well said he does not recommend using the gamepad to play this game because it is a fast, uh, precision-based action game and uh, the distance of the analog sticks and buttons and all that kind of stuff on the gamepad uh, does not lead very well to this game. I think he's talking shit. I think he's hoping that the majority of people will be playing this with the gamepad so he can at least blame... Um, the imprecision of the game on the gamepad, but uh, after playing this with a pro controller, I can honestly refute that and say, you sir are talking out of your rectum. This game plays shit on the pro controller too. Okay. I didn't even use any of the pro controller, uh, any of the gamepad features. I like the fact all the guns float. We're on the gun. Okay. Cool. I guess. There we go. So his actual recommendation. Um, I forget which review it's from now. But he's actually quoted saying this. Is. I guess we can lose on the turret sections. Is his recommended control method for this game. Is a pro controller and a USB keyboard. Now, I'm not brave enough to plug a USB keyboard into this game to see what uh, what the fuck that would do. But uh, I am a little curious, to say the least. Okay, so we only had one guy come through there that time. Oh, God. Finding a lot of the enemies in this game 
just stand there doing very little as well, which is cute. Yeah, you go from being like dead red uh, to dead very quickly. I'm wondering if we can just run through this turret bit. Do we actually have to be on it? Or maybe we just have to dismount and get a regen our health. Although, not really sure how well that's going to work. Does anyone remember like the turret sections in Halo or Gears of War? You know, they were how it's done. They were superb. Right, let's hide. Get some health back, I guess. And then get back on this. Oh my god, you just... Yeah. That turret is just death. That turret's rubbish. How is it that it is infinitely better to use the gun, the standard generic assault rifle, over the turret? Oh, good lord. Really, Ivan, do you think you have time for a smoke? And I think some of those bullets are clipping through the cover there. There we go. Uh, do we have to hold out here or do we just... Like, what are we meant to be doing? I get the feeling that we are supposed to be killing all these guys. Is that not an objective? I like how little this gun recoils as well. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Enough of that. There's no recoil to it. There's no feedback. Alright, there we go. That's right, buddy. Stand on the grenade. Cheers, boss. All right, well, at least we got some more ammo. Oh, Christ. Now you assholes turn up. I wouldn't want you staining your bloody uh, handkerchief. You still got that thing, that scarf that your mum made. You still got that, buddy. So, what's that? Is that a machete? That is. I thought we were going to... Something about beef jerky. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> He's just sitting on the grenade. Like, no attempt to avoid it. No attempt whatsoever. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, so apparently you can just shoot those armoured plates off. Apparently. I mean, why not, I guess. Hey, Jim, you got one. You actually got one, Jim. I guess there's medals for you when you get home. You're probably not going to get home. Uh, okay. There was, where, where did you come from? Did you walk through the door? I find that hard to believe. Ow. Like, what's the point in the melee as well? Like, the guns are just so much better. And the melee fighting in this game is just dog shit anyway. Okay, can not actually destroy that? Nothing inside, but... Alright. I mean, that's as close to pretty as we're going to get, I think. He literally just stands still for five seconds and he starts doing something. Either smoking or drinking. Or at least he does sometimes. I guess it's random. <laughs> Okay, so we can shoot these with bullets, but we can't smash them up with our melee weapon. Alright, noted. 
Oh boy. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. Thanks for the big pile of ammo. There's no other way. Well, that's okay. Oh, God. If you squint and get your binoculars out, you can just about see some enemies over here. They're about a pixel... Yeah, they're about a pixel wide each. Alright. There we go. Think we're doing damage? I'm not 100% sure. Can't really see anything. The draw distance for the game is so bad. Okay. I'm guessing eventually these guys are going to stop coming. Yeah, so we had to engage the enemies on top of the cliff. Right, got ya. There's this dude up here, apparently. You can't quite aim high enough to get the crosshairs over him. Cool. Fine. I guess. I mean, I suppose that's why we got... Ooh. Should we try that? Have we even had this before? Is it any better than any of the other rifles? There we go. Now he's having a fag. Alright. Uh, an RPG? I guess we might need that, but... Hey, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, a helicopter! Yeah, I guess they are. Cue the awful generic metal. Alright, give me that, please. Thank you. Should have known if there's an RPG, then you definitely need it. One, two, ooh. Good thing we've got these sandbags here. Come on, baby. Oof, we missed. Come on, big boy. There we go. He just explodes into nothing. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of get the feeling that the RPG is usually useful. What are you guys shooting at? <laughs> that guy, apparently. Alright. Really? Wow, look at the accuracy there. Okay, he's actually still firing. Yeah, you got a fucking Gatling gun. Yeah, he was actually still fi firing his gun when he was in prone. Like, and his gun was aiming at us. It still fired for a frame. Uh, okay. Let's get the scar back out. Ah, okay, cool. I guess they just felt the need to have collectibles because, like, every game pretty much has collectibles. And they're like, yeah, me too. We can't get the frame rate gu uh, stable, guys. We can't really be bothered with the story. And the characters are shit. But hey, let's just throw some collectibles in there for the sake of it. Really? Hitbox? You see that? Bullets just went straight through the enemy. Yeah, check out those headshots. They really work. In fact, I don't think the headshots actually do any more damage. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Move. Wrong button. Out of practice. What the hell? 
Oh, great. Great. Get hit by our own bloody weapon there. By our own grenade. Okay, I thought these guys were going to be a significantly bigger problem than they are. At least I thought they were going to be harder to avoid. Oof. Oof. It's a huge. Oh, really? Really, Ivan? Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's have. Can we actually pick that up? Is there a way of actually picking that up? Just stopped picking it up halfway through. Uh. Destroy the enemy power suits. Is there still a katana there? There's not. Maybe the shotgun might actually do something here. I doubt it. Have you ever seen a more generic enemy? There we go. Nope, he didn't pick it up. Because you have to hold down the button to pick up a weapon. There actually is a cooldown kind of time limit. I don't know why. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Considering you can just walk over the weapon and pick it up normally. Oh, that shotgun. Can you imagine when they're making this game? And whoever made the shotgun was like, yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's a good shotgun. But then it's hard to see anybody passing any of the weapons in this game, to be honest. Yeah. Come on, ugly. There we go. Uh, there's actually a heavy weapon there. I want. I wanted to try one of those katanas. I mean, I don't know why. You know, it's going to be exactly the same as the one that we've got. Yeah. What's okay? So it looks like if you even change direction, even if you're still standing on it, that actually. Um. I don't know. What's that? Oh, that looks alright. I mean, it's basically the same as the scar. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> it's just like the game literally hitches for a second and then just loads the guy in chunks. Oh, God. Right, well, uh, I guess we've got a bridge to clear. And this cover isn't very good cover. I'm just throwing that out there, Ivan. Right, anyway, we're out of time again. I know, shame. Um, I'm going to be thinking about this game. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be thinking about this game at all. Uh, whilst I go and play something else. So, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this utter shit show with me. But until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.